Now they say it's good clean fun, but what's inside the bath bomb box? Now kids can experiment making their bath bombs and investigate the science behind the fizz. Not just bath bombs. In fact, on the back of the box, the blurb says you can experiment with marbleized bombs, volcano mix, and other cool experiments. This kit is great value for money, and it's very educational for kids, in my opinion. The makers have saved quite a bit of money here. There's no inner carton to this box. All the contents are just thrown in there willy-nilly. Right, so you need to make up your own protective glasses. For some reason, they put only for one-time use on the front. Not sure why they do this. It seems to me you could easily reuse these glasses for further experiments. Also included is a rather fetching colourful and easy to follow instruction booklet with diagrams and pictures that make it suitable for children to follow without much difficulty. Lots of warnings and cautions as you might expect with a kit full of chemicals. Only for children over eight it says, although I think if you have a keen five-year-old as long as you have an adult supervising, it should be okay. Now this yellow bendy object confused me at first, but it's really just the frame for that uh, the protective plastic glasses you saw me take out of the box just a moment ago. Also in the box is this resealable plastic bag full of goodies. First out is a pipette for dispensing the tiny drops of water that you will need white measuring spoon, you get two of those, three bits of wood and the plastic mould for making the bath bombs. And finally some red food colouring liquid for giving your bath bomb a colour. You also get a beaker for mixing the chemicals and some special laboratory gloves which are very important to keep the nasty chemicals off little hands. And another warning leaflet, in case you missed what they said on the instruction booklet. Important safety information and blah blah, yeah we get it, you can blow yourself up. Finally, last out of the box, the good stuff. Chemicals! Yes! Okay, this blue one is sodium bicarbonate. You get 50 grams of that stuff, comes in a big jar. By the way, all these bottles have child safety lids, so they can't be opened by an enthusiastic toddler. This red one is citric acid. Sorry about the focus here. And the little bottle with the yellow label is cornstarch probably used to glue the mixture together as it dries. And that seems to be what's in the box. Now we have another cool video coming up that features our little star, our young mad scientist Bo demonstrates how to prepare and make one of these bath bombs. Don't miss it, he's highly recommended for entertainment. And please do subscribe, it makes doing these worthwhile and it encourages to make more of these videos. Thanks for watching.